the main interest of our project was to understand why people with inflammatory bowel disease have chronic intestinal inflammation and tissue damage in the intestine. It's known that these patients have inflammatory cells in the intestine, which in theory are able to promote wound healing by the secretion of cytokines such as IL-22. But for some reason that is unknown, these cytokines fail to promote wound healing in these patients. And instead, the patient develops chronic intestinal inflammation and tissue damage. And our aim was to understand the underlying mechanism. So in this study, we used biopsy specimen, which we obtained from patients with inflammatory bowel disease. And we analyzed these bio biopsy specimen on the expression of several inflammatory cytokines, such as IL-22. And we furthermore used these biopsy specimen to isolate immune cells and to analyze on a single cell level the expression of cytokines in these immune cells. We then combined these results obtained in the human with mouse models for inflammatory bowel disease, and we specifically used knockout mice for IL-22 and IL-22 binding protein to assess the function and the relevance of these two factors in inflammatory bowel disease. We found that in patients with inflammatory bowel disease, there is a dysregulation of the IL-22, IL-22 binding protein axis. IL-22 is a tissue protective cytokine, which can be neutralized by an endogenous inhibitor, which is called IL-22 binding protein. And we found that CD4 positive T cells in patients with IBD overexpress IL-22 binding protein. We could then test the relevancy of this finding in a mouse model, in which we could indeed confirm that mice in which the CD4 positive T cells cannot produce IL-22 binding protein are largely protected from colitis development. Finally, we wanted to assess how this finding is linked to the responsiveness to IBD therapy. And there we focused on the therapy with TNF-alpha antibodies, which are currently one of the most effective IBD therapies. And we could prove using human data and also mouse models that the responsiveness to anti-TNF-alpha therapy is dependent on the suppression of IL-22 binding protein production by the CD4 positive T cells. From a clinical viewpoint, these data are highly relevant because so far nobody really understood why these inflammatory cytokines which have tissue protective function in IBD are unable to promote wound healing. Also, they are produced there. And we found one mechanism explaining why this chronic inflammation might actually promote tissue damage rather than healing the tissue damage. These data are also very important from a clinical viewpoint because one could think that the measurement of IL-22 binding protein could maybe be used to predict the responsiveness to anti-TNF-alpha therapy. And also one could envisage to directly target IL-22 binding protein to have a more specific IBD therapy compared to the current therapies available.